everyone, and welcome to the section in which we will talk about the, the integration of uh, UDS Enterprise <coughs> virtual desktop infrastructure with Open Nebula, and how to create your free VDI cloud platform. Uh, so I'm Abdel, and I'm here on behalf of Virtual Cable. Uh, we are installed in Madrid, and we uh, develop and uh, commercialize and distribute UDS Enterprise. So first of all, Virtual Cable, we are a pioneering software uh, company that develops, uh, supports, maintains, and commercializes uh, UDS Enterprise, that is a, an open source virtual desktop infrastructure for virtual applications and uh, virtual desktops. It does uh, application virtualization through RDS, uh, virtual desktop, uh, desktop virtualization for both Linux and Windows, uh, management of user access of IT uh, resources through uh, the integration with any authenticator, third-party authenticator, be it Active Directory, LDAP, or even if you don't have uh, an already existing uh, authenticator, you can use an internal database in which you create groups and users and you create your own policies. So. Uh, one of, the, one of the things that UDS Enterprise does is uh, automatic resource life cycle management through uh, switching on, switching off, rebooting, uh, creation and deletion of uh, virtual services, applications or desktops, and uh, life cycle management like by the deletion of uh, orphaned or zombie machines. And also the installation, administration, and configuration is very used, as we will see in the demonstration, in the, in the video we'll see in the end of this uh, presentation. So uh, why did we choose Open Nebula with UDS Enterprise? Uh, well, besides all the, the advantages of Open Nebula that you all know, Open Nebula has a big uh, community, stable, open source, free of charge, and as you, as you all know. Uh, we are also the only certified VDI connection broker that publishes directly on Open Nebula and that has been tested on Open Nebula and many of our clients are happy using Open Nebula uh, with uh, UDI, with UDS Enterprise and they have been using it for, uh, for uh, production. Uh, so UDS Enterprise provides user access from any web browser, be it a handful device, uh, a laptop, running Linux or Windows or Mac, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, S as long as it supports uh, HTML uh, access. Uh, it offers centralized, unified, and fast management of virtual uh, desktops and uh, services. Uh, UDS Enterprise is flexible. It provides flexibility when it comes to hypervisors. You can deploy as many hypervisors as you want, and it supports all the hypervisors of the market. The same thing for uh, protocols, for transport protocols. It supports from SPICE to RDP. It supports all the protocol. Uh, Multi-authenticator, like all the authenticators of the market are supported. And uh, multi-cloud, since it can be integrated with any third-party cloud, be it private or, cloud, uh, be it private or, or public, as well as through Open Nebula. And since Open Nebula supports cloud, so transitively, UDS Enterprise supports everything. Uh, so we also provide two levels of advanced cache. We have cache level one and cache level two. Cache level one is for machines in ready state. And cache level two for machines in suspended state in order to save waiting time. So <coughs> when there is a machine taken from the available state, there is one mounted from cache level one from the ready state, and another one is escalated from suspended to level one to ready, and hence the escalation. Uh, so again, the interface is very intuitive and very friendly. Uh, that can be managed by any person, even from outside the field of IT. So again, uh, UDS Enterprise supports two ways of, uh, of access. It can be accessed from inside, from LAN, through uh, direct HTTP, uh, and from outside, from the WAN, uh, through SSL secure channel and it should use HTTPS. Uh, so just to give you an overall idea, UDS Enterprise is a VDI compo composed of three components. It's uh, the server, 
uh, it's the broker, uh, the tunneler that is in charge of, uh, of a secure channel and the, the database that can be any uh, third party database, be it open source or not. But for, uh, by default, we use MySQL. Uh, so uh, for scalable platform, we use high availability uh, workload balancing by dispatching the charge between the, the broker and the tunneler in the case of, in the case of uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of charge on the, on the broker. So hence, we offer uh, high availability. And unlimited IP service management, that means the UDS Enterprise does not have a limited or does not have a limitation from, for the, 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 the deployment of, of services. Uh, it can be integrated with any e-learning platform, since you can deploy your own uh, plugins and add-ons, since uh, UDS is, is also an open source application. And uh, an example is Moodle Virtual PC plugin that has been developed mm -hmm. and maintained in collaboration with the University of Malaga and they have been using it for the integration with Moodle and provide uh, virtual services from UDS Enterprise directly in their, uh, in their uh, Moodle platform. And for uh, the cost scaling, UDS Enterprise uh, provides, uh, provides flat rates after a certain number of users and is the same for unlimited. So the advantages of uh, open level of UDS Enterprise is a full open source solution. UDS is open source, open level is open source, so we get a full open source. So we gain effective on VDI Cloud. And also simple cluster management for VDI. As uh, our colleagues, as my, our, our colleague has uh, introduced reusability of legacy uh, storage, we can use that for uh, for uh, the reusability or recycling of, uh, of uh, legacy uh, hardware. Uh, deploy VMs and integrate any private and public cloud, uh, either through UDS Enterprise directly or through OpenNibola. Uh, and also easy and effective integration that we will see in a while in the video. And also uh, that many of our clients that we are aware of have been using OpenNibola uh, commercially and in production. Uh, many of them are universities, and one of our clients that I'm aware of that has been using OpenNibola to provide access to tens of thousands of students and staff is the University of Levine in Belgium. Uh, they have been using OpenNibola like for a long time to provide uh, to provide access to their alumni and uh, staff. And we also have clients using uh, OpenNibola with UDS Enterprise uh, with uh, StorePool to manage the storage. Uh, so uh, that's everything about OpenNibola. Let's now move on to see uh, the demonstration. Hello everyone, today we'll show you how to integrate UDS Enterprise with Open Nebula. So the first thing to do is to go to the side menu and choose services. In services we choose new Open Nebula platform provider. Then we choose the name of the service provider, the host IP address, the username and the password. Before you save you should test and see if the service can connect to the server. If test is successful you can then save and create a free service for Open Nebula. Create a base service, we click on the service we have created, scroll down to services, and select new OpenNibola live image. In the main tab, we choose a name and the data store. In the machine tab, we choose the base template and the name name. By saving, we have created an OpenNibola live image. Now that we have created a service for OpenNibola and a live image, we can go to service polls to launch a publication. In service polls, we create a new service poll for OpenNibola. For the service poll, we choose a name and the base service and the OS manager. In the tab availability, we specify how many services we want to create. By saving, our publication is now launched and being created. Let's now check our service and see the publication state. By clicking on the tab publications, we can see that our publication is in preparation state. In a while, our publication will be ready. Let's now have a look at OpenNibula Sandstone. 
we can see in template section that our publication is being closed. While waiting for the instances to be ready, we'll go to the dashboard and assign the transport and a group and user to our services. In the transports tab, we assign a new transport. By saving, we have assigned the transport. We move to the tab groups so we can assign a group and a user. Let's choose an authenticator and a group. By saving, we have assigned a group to our services. Let's now have a look at open Nebula dashboard again to see if the services are ready. So now we can see that our services are being created and that there is a service being created every 3 to 4 seconds. So now that the three services have been created, we can jump again to view this dashboard. In the publication tab, we can see the service state. Once the state is valid, we can switch to user mode to see our services. So now as you can see, our service is ready and it can be used by any user registering the group we have assigned to this service. So, uh, this is uh, the presentation about uh, about Open Nebula. So, uh, just just one thing before I finish, uh, we provide this solution in on-premise and on cloud uh, on cloud versions. On cloud versions, we have our we have our providers, cloud providers, but most of our clients are. Uh, I mean, the focus, our focus is on is for on-premise version. So uh, I'm, uh, I will be very happy to meet you guys after this session and exchange contacts and see if we are, if any of you will be available in establishing a partnership or something, because I see that most of this audience is specialized in cloud, so that will be a very good point. So thank you so much. Any questions? Does anyone have this? Um, can, can you share uh, uh, the typical user this kind of solution? Are there any Windows desktop sources? Who uses this? Well, uh, actually, uh, you mean uh, the clients using Open Nebula with UDS Enterprise? Uh, the University of Louvain that I'm aware of, and they have been in contact last last uh, last months with us, uh, integrating this. Uh, they are using both Windows and Linux machines, and uh, I think so far they are happy with with, with the solution. And uh, I think it's for both for Windows and, and Linux. Any more questions? Um, I'm not a big time PDI user, uh, but I remember, remember some old stuff like uh, Tarantella. Um, do you have features like only users with PDI or anything like that? Uh, if you mean roaming users by uh, by portable uh, portable profiles in Windows, yes, we pr we provide uh, actually uh, we we have we have uh, uh, we have. Uh, we have actually profiles for uh, persistent and non-persistent OS managers for persistent and non-persistent machines. When choosing a persistent, we use the, the roaming profiles of Windows uh, and also for Linux. I mean, we can choose persistent for both Linux or, 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 or Windows. So we also have roaming profiles for in case you choose persistent machines. And even if uh, you shut down the, the session, the next logon, you will recover the, 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 old, the old user space. <laughs>